which price is on the page for what you need for the individual. You pick commercials. Okay, now let's get this shirt out. I haven't done a watch party, so I'm going to do that too. Yeah. Somehow I started one in the metaphysical market group. I didn't even mean to oh. do that. <laughs> For anyone that pops on and we don't see you, um, we're just getting the shirt out, so. Hi, Helen. Hey, Helen. Did the light just flash in there? I see a light flash. I don't know where it was from. I was literally on my phone looking down, but yeah. It was the dining room light. What the hell was that about? I was going to be able to um, the upstairs lights when I came out of my room earlier. <laughs> no, don't leave. Hi, Crystal. Hey, guys. Crystal. Yes, you made it. I got this music last thing. I turned it up. I don't own the rights to the music. I can't even pronounce the group's name, but the song is Summoning the Gods. Um, what is it? I Trobar de Morte. Trobar de Morte. I don't know how to pronounce it. It actually chills me out, believe it or not. Oh, I can't, I forgot, I can't do this on here and pull up my notes. Can I? I can try. <laughs> Maybe Facebook will just run in the background. Hi, Jessica. I don't know. Hey, Jessica. I just read Crystal's ad comment. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to see it. So I have a lot of notes mm -hmm. for this discussion. I almost wonder if I should have just did this for my personal profile, just so more people would see it. Um, to the, to the up store. <laughs> you know what's funny is um, some of my spirits call it that now, the up store. We yeah. drive by it and they're like, "Oh look, it's the up store," and mm -hmm. I'm like, "Oh." Oh, God. Oh. They catch on to things. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Rena. Hi, Rena. Oh, this hurts. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm having massive jaw, side of mouth problems lately. Okay. So I made a lot of notes for us to talk about. And it's going to start with 11-11. awakening. Because... There's a lot of stuff that goes around about this, and it's very fluffy bunny bullshit. I'm just going to mm -hmm. put it out there. All this shit about after today, your dreams are going to come true. This is going to change. That's going to change. You're going to be healed, blah, 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 blah. So let's get into what awakening actually means, because people don't seem to understand. It means you are awakening to deeper truths within you. That's what awakening is. Spiritual awakening is awakening to deeper truths within you. So, and that's kind of the point of today. Um, the 1111 portal, the energies, 
are kind of like a gateway, a gate opening for where more work can be done. So let me, okay, so about today. <laughs> let me not skip my notes because I get sidetracked. Um, fears and feelings that have been suppressed from this and past lifetimes are being pushed to the surface, even more so with Mercury retrograde also at this time and a full moon. Oh, we got a big like wham bam of a lot of stuff going on right now. Mm -hmm. So communication in relationships is being tested. Your inner will, your inner resolve may be tested. Your inner communication lines may be tested. Um, so 11.11 portals are not fluffy bunny memes. You see promising life changes overnight. These portals open the gates to the inner work. You still have to do the work. That's the key part. You still have to do the work. Nothing is going to come save everyone. Nothing is going to come fix everything. We have to do it. The collective energy gets chaotic at this time. Even without... 11 11 going on and the astrology side holidays coming up people get depressed there's i see a lot of posts now about depression suicide feeling worthless useless um so that's also going out into the collective consciousness the collective energy so the energies get really chaotic um oppositional energies are out in full force at this time and that trickles from planetary aspects on down, if you want to talk about specific entities and beings. Can you um, just touch this topic, like, like, in case someone doesn't know what oppositional versus combative would be? Oppositional, and pretty, is, the basic meaning is a force going the opposite direction of, if you're speaking in terms of yourself, it's going the opposite direction you are. So it doesn't mean it's attacking you or trying to kill you or, you know, anything like that it just means it's going a different direction but your direction and that direction may kind of at times <laughs> sound effects now okay so <laughs> oppositional energies um that's been going on that's still going on we have a couple of months of that going on from an astrology standpoint i don't remember the exact planets involved because my memory is horrible and that's why i have to read everything so i can't get that specific um So with all this going on, be mindful of your triggers. These are for you. <laughs> That's the part of the thing that doesn't want to hear right now. Lashing out at others only adds to the shit in the collective consciousness and keeps the vibration lower. Mm -hmm. So the triggers, and I don't want to sound like a vague, like the Barbie bitch shit, because everyone says, it, says this. Hold on. I need my water. If you guys can't tell this is this is shadow coming out this is i am not doing well with these we're energies. reversed today yeah. she's dark and i'm like yeah mm -hmm. i'm just gonna admit it i can fully admit it yes i am i am a taurus and we have the full moon in taurus we have the 11 11 energies and i'm getting triggered full force and, and mercury retrograde yes and there's a meteor shower that's literally shooting fireballs towards the earth. Yes. From the Taurus, the, I can't, I can't even pronounce it. Taurusid, Taurusid. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a meteor shower that is like within the Taurus constellation. That's most everywhere. I think tonight is blocked out with all the winter storms going on. So. You feel like you're throwing fireballs. You probably are. Your higher self, your shadow, it doesn't matter. It probably, it's probably happening. But that's what yeah. she means about this whole, um, you know, the, the lower vibration in the collective. Like, because I am very sensitive with my own crap going on, I'm still picking up the collective thoughts and energies and trying not to acknowledge it. I'm trying to keep up the comments here, too. Hey guys, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any. Uh, Rena, yeah, well, you know what? It's funny because the shit I've seen her going through today has been me the past few years on 11.11 portals and 
I was like, finally, like today, I'm good. Like, I've just been calm, chilling all day long. I'm like, whatever. So, you know, I think it's just showing like where you're at in your mm -hmm. own shit. Yep. If you've still got a lot of shit to go through, and I'm not saying I'm done because I'm not, but, you know, evidently I don't have a deep layer of shit coming out yeah. today. So it may come out another day. <laughs> Um, and one thing to help talking about the collective consciousness, and it, this is all the time, not just during portal days, um, but you have, we have to be real and honest and hold ourselves accountable for our actions. It can't be blamed on, oh, it's Mercury retrograde or, oh, the 1111 portal made me do it or whatever. Because a lot of people seem to only want to focus on days like today but it's a continual process and these days are just kind of like that extra oomph like it's the extra mm -hmm. push it's like shoving it shoving the crap up to be dealt with it's being thrown in your face but it's your choice to deal with it or not and if you're not going to deal with it don't blame everyone else around you for everything going on because that's just putting more shit out into the collective constantly blaming and yelling at everyone else that's just putting projecting more shit more vomit out there and it keeps cycling so a little bit about, um, this is making me itch. I haven't worn this before, guys. This it's is making me itch that. and I'm distracted. <laughs> um, so to, with tonight going into the full moon, I want to talk about this a little bit. Combined with 11.11. Actually, no, combined with Mercury retrograde. So the moon in Taurus. The general theme is being motivated by the desire for serenity, security, peace, and comfort. But with today's portal and full moon eliminating the darkness, this may mean that your suppressed feelings and emotions that block your ability for serenity, block you being at peace, and give you dis discomfort are coming out to be acknowledged and healed. That's so this problem. is, yeah, and this is where the part of you have to do the work comes in because on a portal day, yeah, it'll put it out like in your face, like this is going on. What are you going to do with it beyond that? That's on you. These planetary energies along with 1111 portal all, all out. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. These planetary energies along with 1111 portal are all to push us into our true, true soul missions. There are many people who have the innate abilities, for example, to heal lands, protect our elements and help the planet. We need this, the planet needs this at this time. This is why so many people are being urged to like step up into these roles, mm -hmm. like stop blocking your abilities, stop ignoring it, stop ignoring your guides. Stop ignoring your intuition. It's needed at this time. If you don't want the planet to implode from psychopaths running it or Gaia literally shake us off like fleas mm -hmm. because she's sick of the shit, step into your role and fucking do something about it. When we go out to these places I take pictures of all, all the time, we're constantly doing healing and energy work with the land and mm -hmm. working with elementals and talking elementals and it's not just standing there hugging trees like yeah that's cute but that's not there's more to it and a lot of people have the ability to do this you just have to actually acknowledge it i need like <laughs> i need talking breaks i think we're used to me constantly like da, da, da. yeah i'm usually the jabber jaws but tonight you i'm are. literally just focusing on what needs, you know, I need to, I need to hear this too. Like I need this, you know, I've, I'm knee deep in my healing. I'm knee deep in my own work, but you know, there's still things that have, that are coming to the surface tonight that I'm having to do. Not even tonight, but even this morning, it started with this morning. I took a, a small break apparently, and then it started up again tonight. So. Hey, Rhonda. Okay. So with that said, too many people are only focused on portal days or Halloween dates, um, especially wanting to talk about the veil is thin. So the veil, that is your own personal consciousness. There's, 
it's not like I don't know where this started and maybe it's just because I do I think I do know how this started this is my opinion talking about Halloween people talk about the villa sin I think the reason it seems that way at that specific time is because Halloween is considered creepy time and people are out all of a sudden wanting to hunt ghosts that don't normally do that and wanting to do seances and blah, blah, blah. And so that energy is going into the collective consciousness, the collective energy, so everyone feels it. But the veil, that's between your waking conscious and subconscious. It's your own veil. So as soon as you have pierced that, it's not there anymore. It's not like there's some outside veil that you've got to get through, like, oh, well, it's Halloween, the veil's thin. No, it's yours. If you've already pulled back the veil of forgetfulness and remembered who you are, you no longer have that. But a lot of people are only focused on these times or in the spiritual community. It may not be about Halloween, but portal days and this when these memes start and everybody's like wanting to shoot off shoot off fireworks like it's a holiday and oh how great and in reality these days are hell for a lot of people because it's pushing the shit to the surface it's pushing the inner work up so it's not fun and it's not pleasant and that's the reality for a lot of people a lot of times so if you are feeling that way and you're not you're seeing these memes and you're like today's been a shit day know you're actually doing something <laughs> you're actually doing work I'm scrolling down. Hey guys. Lionsgate, Rhonda, that's another one. Lionsgate mm -hmm. always had me the portal days cuz I part of my like sole job is being a gatekeeper. I work with portals naturally. I go out of body a lot to work with portals. So normally any type of portal day that's a legit portal day is chaotic for me. It's not some like let's sit back and be high vibe bloody da. Oh, it's a portal day. It's 11/11. Woohoo. No. It's pretty chaotic. Even if it's not a low vibe, like negative way, it's still pretty chaotic. Anything you want to add? Um, actually, you speaking of that. So I know that we all focus, you know, on these portal days. We we focus on the manifesting. Okay, this for me, this is where like it's literally hurting in the middle of my heart chakra because I know that's where I'm carrying a lot of this bitterness and pain, where a lot of us do. Um. I had a talk with someone this morning, you know, she reached out and she's like, you know, I can't believe that, you know, the situation happened. I'm just, I'm ready to like, she was blowing up. I could feel it. She was so pissed. And I remember telling her, you know, please be careful of what you're thinking, what you're manifesting. And it's not just on these portal days that you need to be careful of that. But when you do have portal days, like I had to stop and remind myself of this earlier because I, I blew up. I'll admit it. I blew up. I lost my shit. And it wasn't, like towards anyone in the house, like physically in the house, but I did blow up to the cosmos. I just lost my shit and I said, I'm yeah, done. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of it, sick and tired of being tested. And you know what? It's okay because they understand, but at the same time, they're not going to pat you on the back and say, it's okay. We understand that, you know, you're still human and you have these feelings. No, they are hard asses. They basically told me, suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, I wanna, <laughs> like, and I want to elaborate on that because these councils, a lot of people, some talk about like people have to counsel with light, blah blah blah, and they make it all fluffy and light. And a lot of these people are channeling artificial intelligence, first of all, because these spirits don't come down and say, Dear ones, people of Earth, I'm gonna talk to you like a robot. No, <laughs> they all have personalities, they do, but councils are pretty fucking harsh and they're dicks and they don't give a goddamn shit about what your human vessel mm -hmm. is going through. Yep. If there's something. That needs to be done that is a higher that aligns to like a higher purpose purpose or mission or what they mm -hmm. need done that's all they care about and they yeah. want it done yeah and they don't give a fuck what you think yeah. about it exactly that's and they don't pretend to give a shit that's what you, exactly what, what happened earlier. like they like, don't even pretend to care yeah. like we don't care this is about your growth this is about your ascension this is about the whole collective it's not just about you you're just one little speck on this universe i mean in this universe but it's still you have a job to do and you need to level up and just deal with it they're not like i said they're not going to hold your hand like no. even my light i'm telling you like my light i work with a light council 
even they are hard on me. Like they're a little bit more gentle with my feelings, especially when I'm, my shadow is coming out and I'm ready just to explode. They're a little bit easier to work with, but they're still very in your face. Like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do to overcome these feelings? What are you going to over, how are you going to get past this place? What are you doing? Are you giving, you know, what are you giving back to the universe when you're in this place? And my answer on comes down to I'm giving, you know, negative, I'm giving back negative vibes to the collective. And that comes back to earlier, you know, I'm pissed because, you know, this happened and I'm pissed because that happened and I'm triggered by this and I'm triggered by that. And there you go. I'm just, I'm sitting crap out to the collective when I could have just been like, you know what? I have to understand it. I just have to embrace this is what's happening. This is for my soul growth. It really hurts. It really sucks. And yes, I am afraid of it happening, but I'll get over it. And it's really hard to do that in that moment, even after grounding. Like I thought, I just need to go eat. Just got to go eat because I'm Taurus. Eating makes me happy. Like, just can't help it. No, that didn't even help. Like, and it was like, that's what I mean. Like, we can't just stuff our feelings down because it's just going to come right back up. And now that I am aware that there is no veil, like, you know, the veil, literally, I feel like the worlds are merging together, like dimensions are merging together. And so, you know, I'm working in other dimensions while I'm here in this vessel, like I'm doing multiple things. That's, and that's the other part I was going to get into why I brought up like Halloween and Bill was that, yeah, these realms are merging with ours. Or, yeah, other realms are merging with ours. Timelines are merging. Mm -hmm. False, like the false timelines are collapsing more and more, but things are merging together. So if, you know, people that have a hard time understanding or believing, they may understand what it is, but maybe don't want to believe, like astral projection being real, you mm -hmm. know, these abilities, things we're, we have going on, seeing yourself in these different places at the same time, like it's not, it's not your brain going crazy. This is really happening. And the best thing you can do for yourself is get to a point where you can just accept it and be like, okay, mm -hmm. I may be over here doing something, but I'm still right here doing something too. And ground, like you have yes. to ground, ground, ground your ass, yes. ground. Because there's a lot going on. And I also wanted to bring up something that happened with Athena today, talking about the collective consciousness and energy because... Mm -hmm. You know, I did say, and this is always the case, that we have to do our own inner work. You know, we create and manifest from our mind. So you have to do the work to get your mind and emotions in line. But there are other things going on that we're not necessarily asking for. And it's kind of like, you know, these elite people, the, the shadow government, whatever, whoever's doing it. Some say ETs are doing it too. Um, these phones, <laughs> they, yes. we have found out from experience, negative or low, low vibrational frequencies are blasted through these phones at times. They're used like little mini weapons and it hasn't been in a way that physically hurts you, like causing a heart attack or anything like that. But it does, it makes you feel just like shit it puts you in a funk it brings your vibration lower and if mm -hmm. if we're aware of it and it's still working then imagine the people who have no clue that are just you know sheeple driving around they don't know so it's trying to keep our vibration lower so you have to start protecting protect your devices all of them anything that picks up a signal you have to protect it shut them down at times give yourself time to not be around them to not be under electronic energies. Clear your space, not just sacred space, your home, like space you live in, car, everything, cleanse. Make it a routine, make it a habit. You'd be surprised what comes through your bedroom because here we go, like I talked about in my blog yesterday, um, they go through, right through the phone. And it's not just, you know, like frequencies, it's energies. I've watched it happen myself. I see it happen all the time. 
you know, you, you don't even like realize that it's going on in that moment. But later on for me, like middle of the night, that's when they think they can mess with me. I can feel it. I can feel the shift. Like I can feel something <laughs> different, you know, coming into my space. And with us having, you know, you know, Crystal's been, um, you know, we've been transitioning to different places, you know, it's like when you go from one apartment to another, you haven't technically claimed your space. So I hate saying this because it, this is a trigger. I'm really trying here. My shadow hates that I'm about to say this, but they have a right to come into your space because you haven't claimed it. Yeah. I, it sucks. I hate, oh, and I feel relief by saying that because I've known that. And until last night when I literally like lost my shit and I just was like, I'm done. I am done. I don't care that, you know, we're in a rental right now. I am claiming my bedroom. This is my sacred space and nobody will come in here without my permission. And I just, I did what I needed to do to, you know, it's concentrate. Important. And I was, uh, we were talking about this earlier. I think one of the reason when people go through spiritual awakening and start these processes and start meeting guides and everyone has a wolf. Yes. I don't know anyone who hasn't had a wolf or sees a wolf or felt like wolf energy. And I think that was a lesson that I missed in the beginning. I think a lot of us are missing because they cut, they, you know, guides and spirits will show these animal forms where mm -hmm. animals have meanings. Think of a wolf in nature. They imprint. Yes. They claim what is theirs. Yes. So maybe they're showing us what we need to see in us that we need to get up and do. Yes. Um, on an energetic, like at an energetic level, I don't mean literally piss on all your stuff, <laughs> but in a way, yeah. Um, and that's yeah, that's we talk about you know your ritual tools, you know your your sacred space. Um, you know, you have some people that have their tarot cards. Are you imprinting on those cards daily? Are you imprinting on your tools daily? Are you walking over to, you know, your, um, say like you have an alchemy key, which we love. Are you, you know, know, are you putting your energy around that? Are you putting your energy around your crystals or, you know, anything that you wear on a daily basis? Is it protected? Are you intentionally, you know, claiming? This is mine. No one can touch this, but who are, you know, you know, like. If and that is so important for people who actively work with spirits and yes. you have your circle involved. As much as I love them, they want to claim shit. They do. Especially stones and crystals. Yes, they, they want, love them. They want it all. So if, you know, you need to have your stuff that's yours. Yes. Now, I know some people will disagree with that because they, some people say the spirits, you know, work with everything. And they do, which is why you need to have well, something that's so yours. Say, like, I don't, yeah. I don't, I'm not okay with it. Like, there, I have a beautiful shaman made by Helen. And that strictly is for me and one of my primary companions, like one of my companion spirits. Um, I have allowed Crystal to use it, you know, because we have, sometimes she has to use it on me. But as far as other spirits, they don't touch it because they know that is a big no, no. It's like me coming into your house and just trying to, you know, use one of your, you know, your favorite dishcloth. You know, there's some people that are weird about that. You'd be amazed. Or, you know, that's that's a pretty necklace you have there. I understand that's yours, but I'm just going to wear it while I'm here. You yeah. just, you can't do that. Like, you, that's why it's important to literally claim your space, claim your small, even just, you know, your, not just your sacred space, but your time space. Yeah, very important. Do you guys have any questions? We've kind of like jumped around to yeah. a lot of different topics right now. Jessica, I don't know what made me look over at your comment, but all I seen was the word mine. And it made me crack up because that is exactly what a wolf feels like. They are like, that is mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> um, but, you know, you know, they just, it's imprinting. Imprinting on... You know, like this computer, for example. I see that it's crystals, but I also know that there's another spirit that has claimed it and has made it mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> and it just... Herman does that with a lot. He's the yeah. only one that's allowed to do that. Yeah. Because, like, other spirits cannot enter my bedroom. Like, that's, like, no. Yeah. I, I didn't have to do that part. He did for me. But um, we have a very unique partnership, not 
everyone has that type that yeah. level so you know you may not want a one spirit imprinting on everything you have yeah and that's the thing, like you have different guides for different things. Um, you have different protectors for different things. I have, you know, different ones that want, you know, certain rocks and some want, you know, nature, uh, you know, like pine cones. One of them really loves pine cones. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it's really, <laughs> it's really cute. But I mean, it just comes down to, you know, it's just, it's about claiming your energetic space and clearing that energetic space when you feel something is not right. When I walk into my room and I can feel like there's been an intruder in my room, that's not good. That sets me off. It's, it just, no, no. <laughs> like It's bullshit. Pretty, yeah, I mean, if you yeah. wouldn't let another human do it, you don't want other energies doing it. Yeah, that's and it wasn't a spirit energy. Like, it wasn't, like, I, it was literally, I was shown what it, how it happened, and, you know, it came right through the phone, and it literally, it was a frequency, and it just stayed in my room. It didn't leave. I had my door open all day, wasn't home. It just cluttered in that room and it was just accumulating more energy. Just accumulating, you know, sucking it, like making itself bigger. So it was more of a challenge to deal with. She's spazzing out on me right now. She's having nerve pain in her cheek. Yeah. Um, so do we have anything else to cover? <laughs> um, I was just looking to see on my watch party. Yes, Helen, thank you um, for stating verbally claiming your space. That's a big one. Ooh. Verbally speak. Communication. We're in Mercury retrograde right now. Communication, communication, communication. You can't just expect an energy to know that, oh, that's mine. Don't touch it. Or you can't just, you know, you have to speak it. You know, our words are everything. We have power through communication. It's not just me walking around, you know, going, like, licking my finger and just marking everything. I have to verbally speak. Which I have done, <laughs> like, I have used my spit for things. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's what I mean by, I, I wasn't kidding. Like, I literally, and some people are going to think this is weird, but I was, I was done last night. I was at my breaking point because I was so sick and tired of, you know, my sleep being disrupted. You know, these frequencies coming through the phone, and because I'm leveling up so quick, I'm just, I'm feeling it, and I know other people like are like me. I know you guys are feeling it. I know you're sensitive. I know you're out there, and you're not alone, but you have the tools. You know what your tools are? This. This. We speak it. We use our hands. You don't need just a magic tool to literally state, I'm done. I'm claiming my space. Yeah. Those other tools are great to have. They are very handy because sometimes we get in a very low, low place and we need that boost. But remember, your biggest tools are your mouth and your hands. And I already see someone going, <laughs> going different ways with that, but whatever. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, it comes down to you find your shadow surfacing. There's a reason because our shadow is here to help protect us. It's helped, you know, it, it's surfacing stuff that we don't want to deal with. You know, our higher self doesn't want to stuff in it down. Our shadow sure in the heck doesn't want to stuff in it down because my shadow is like, speak your truth. Get it out there. Vent it away. And then my higher self comes through and says, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to fix it? How are you going to get exactly. past it? Yeah. And that's where aligning comes in. <laughs> Jessica, I love that. <laughs> yeah, you have fun with that girl. All right. Um, oh, that went quicker than I thought it would. We've been on here 34 minutes. Oh. It's not that quick, but it's not like. Yeah. Uh, we, just, a lot we had to a talk big about. list, so we weren't yeah. sure how long it was going to be. So, um, so I'm going to end this. I don't want to drag it out too long. Um. I was going to do happy 11 11, just, just I've been annoying her with that all day. <laughs> happy 11 11. No, it's okay. Actually, mm -hmm. I feel lighter by speaking my truth. I feel lighter by communicating. Good. You know, like, oh, look, I, I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't claiming my space. I wasn't claiming my energetic space. I'm constantly preaching about boundaries to other people and I'm trying to set them for myself. But by allowing things to come through, 
I was tested. I was tested and you'll be tested and everybody's going to be tested. And councils just laugh and they're like, it's, it's for your own good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's, that's happy 11-11 for me. Yeah. Which sounds pretty normal. Yeah. So if that's it, um, I guess everyone have a great night. I feel better. I'm going to try to find some chocolate. I'm going to go in the snow. <laughs> yeah, she's going to go snow. That's why I put my snow bunny hat on. All right, guys, have a good night. Oh, and if anyone new is catching this video, check out Coven88, www.coven88.com. We got a lot going on yes. on the site. There are two other ladies involved besides Athena and myself. We have services. We have a shop. A lot going on, on the website, and you got to check it out. All right. Have a good night.